My dear brothers and sisters, for two days we have been well taught by servants of the Lord who have sought diligently to know what he would have them say. We've been given our charge for the next six months. Now the question is, how will we be different because of what we have heard and felt? The pandemic has demonstrated how quickly life can change, at times from circumstances beyond our control. However, there are many things we can control. We set our own priorities and determine how we use our energy, time, and means. We decide how we will treat each other. We choose those to whom we will turn for truth and guidance. The voices and pressures of the world are engaging and numerous, but too many voices are deceptive, seductive, and can pull us off the covenant path. To avoid the inevitable heartbreak that follows, I plead with you today to counter the lure of the world by making time for the Lord in your life each and every day. If most of the information you get comes from social or other media, your ability to hear the whisperings of the Spirit will be diminished. If you are not also seeking the Lord through daily prayer and gospel study, you leave yourself vulnerable to philosophies that may be intriguing but are not true. Even saints who are otherwise faithful can be derailed by the steady beat of Babylon's band. My brothers and sisters, I plead with you to make time for the Lord. Make your own spiritual foundation firm and able to stand the test of time by doing those things that allow the Holy Ghost to be with you always. Never underestimate the profound truth that the Spirit speaketh of things as they really are and of things as they really will be. It will show unto you all things what ye should do. Nothing invites the Spirit more than fixing your focus on Jesus Christ. Talk of Christ. Rejoice in Christ. Feast upon the words of Christ and press forward with steadfastness in Christ. Make your Sabbath a delight as you worship him. Partake of the sacrament and keep his day holy. As I emphasized this morning, please make time for the Lord in his holy house. Nothing will strengthen your spiritual foundation like temple service and temple worship. We thank all who are working on our new temples. They are being built all over the world. Today, I'm pleased to announce our plans to build more temples at or near the following locations. Kaohsiung, Taiwan. Takloban, Philippines. Monrovia, Liberia. Kananga, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Antananarivo, Madagascar. Culiacan, Mexico. Vitoria, Brazil. La Paz, Bolivia. Santiago West, Chile. Fort Worth, Texas. Cody, Wyoming. Rexburg, North, Idaho. Heber Valley, Utah and reconstruction of the Provo, Utah Temple after the Orem, Utah Temple is dedicated. I love you, dear brothers and sisters. 
The Lord knows you and loves you. He is your Savior and your Redeemer. He leads and guides his church. He will lead and guide you in your personal life if you will make time for him in your life each and every day. May God be with you until we meet again. I pray in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.